Okay, we're standing in more of a yeah, at the more of a tall plaza, just past the plaza, and in the background you'll see there's a burnt truck at the top, the cops are still there. In front of me I have Jimmy Lazy who drives for SNB Freight. SNB Freight that is SMB Freight, was SMB Freight, and this was SMB Freight, the trailer that was burnt. There's another truck burnt behind there. Jimmy is with me here, and Jimmy is a very lucky man to be alive today. Jimmy, I want you to tell me what happened here this morning, apparently about Hopper Street. You were driving along, and what happened, Jimmy? It was plus minus uh, quarter to four in the morning. I was just above to uh, cross the bridge, and I saw the crowd of people on the road and the uh, burning tires. I stopped one side to phone my boss and explain to him what, uh, what is happening. As I was speaking to my boss, they started uh, knocking the, tra the truck with the stones. Now, as I was scared because they, they were not, they, they were, my, my, one, my, side, my side window is, was already broken, I had to drive off just before I start making a U-turn. Then they bend the back trailer. When they bend the back trailer, the pipe, uh, the pen, the, uh, the pipe for the uh, for the pressure, so it had to st to stop. Once the truck stopped, I, s I jumped off. Then the, uh, lucky the police came before they start burning me, because they wanted to put me in fire. They already to throw some petrol on me. So, Jimmy, you jumped out the truck and they, you ran. You were scared. Um, obviously, you ran. I would have run as well. And they caught you and they wanted to burn you with the truck. Yes, they wanted to ban me with the truck because they told I'm a foreigner. I explained to them, I, because they already took my license, they took my wallet with my license and my bank card inside with my cell phone. I told them I must check my license and see I'm not a foreigner. But they didn't believe that. They told me this company is only taking the foreigners. So I am the foreigner. They want to kill me because I'm taking their job. And then they started looting the truck. They saw that there was beer on the truck and they started, uh, the community came down and they started taking the beer off the truck. You tried to run again and you were, they caught you again and they wanted to burn you again. Jimmy, is that right? And then the police arrived. Just before, when I stopped there, when they started the, uh, uh, knocking the, tr the truck with the stones, I tried, I tried to run. Then they caught me, they put me back in the, into the truck. When I was turning the truck now, when they started burning the back trailer, I uh, tried to, uh, I, I jumped off. That's the time they started uh, taking out the beer because uh, after they banned the back trailer, they saw that I'm carrying beer. Then they started taking the beer when the police arrived already. And then the police arrived and uh, there were three policemen who arrived. They saw what was happening to Jimmy. They grabbed Jimmy and they protected him, put him in the back of the police van and took him safely to the police station where he was able to phone his children. He's got three children and say, kids, don't worry, I'm safe. Your dad is still around. But it was a horrible uh, experience for you, Jimmy. You've never experienced this before. There you were doing a job, earning your money, driving for the economy, and suddenly people want to burn you for saying you're a foreign truck driver. You're not. You're a South African. Huh? How does that make you feel? So far, I, I'm still scared. But uh, I can't say I'm going to stop driving because driving is my job. That's a job I know. And I've been doing this job for 22 years. What we're going to do, Jimmy, on behalf of the whole trucking industry, is I'm going to give you a big hug, my brother, because we're so happy to see you alive today. We're so sorry this happened to you. You should not have been caught up in this. It is not your problem, and you are delivering for South Africa, and you nearly died. You were nearly burnt alive. So I want to give you a hug from behalf of everybody. Come here, Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you very much for the support. That's Jimmy and I. <laughs> well done, Jimmy. We love, to, we love to fight another day. Jimmy, that's it. Safe going. Are you, are you getting transport home now? My boss is coming to pick me up. Boss, where's your boss coming from? He's coming from Durban. From he Durban? Any minute. Okay, wonderful. And there's the Joey truck ready to tow away now. Mm -hmm. This is the rest of the truck gone. There's the cop still on the bridge here, keeping Cavey there. And there's the trailer that was left of it. Jimmy, God bless you, my friend, and thank you for the wonderful job you do for South Africa. And I, on behalf of all South Africans, apologize to you for what happened to you. Thank you very much. It should not have happened. You're an honest man and a good man. God bless you.